What's going on out there, man? Been hearing a lot of things, you know. Just finished watching the Mikey Garcia fight against um, Robert Easter Jr., which I thought was a tremendous fight on both men. Hats off to both men. But I got to say, man, it was a tough fight to watch, man. You know, Robert Easter had a, had a difficult time coming forward and landing his one-two. Um, Garcia was just tremendous, man. Hands down, he was tremendous. Came forward, showed that he was the, the more experienced fighter, uh, the more stronger fighter, you know. He was definitely the bigger man in the ring. And, and you saw it once he started to land his punches and once he started to put together his combinations. Once he figured out the distance and the reach, and, and he was like, okay, I got him over here. I can I can get his side. I can land this. I can land that. And then once he started landing that, that jab, I mean that powerful jab of his, and it wasn't just a regular jab that just pop, pop. It was a boom, boom, you know, a power jab that not only was snapping the head back of Robert Easton, but it was really on some, like, boom, boom, like, you know? So, um... I got to say, like I said, it was a great fight. Robert Easton will definitely come back. I, I, I'm telling you, he learned a lot from this fight, man. He learned a lot from this fight. He sh he learned that, okay, Rob Mikey Garcia got skills. He got, like, tremendous skills. And, and it showed because, you know, not only he get up from the knockdown, but, you know, he went 12 rounds with this man. And Mikey ain't no bird, man. Mikey's the truth, man. Mikey is a legitimate Hall of Fame fighter, man. Hands down. Done one belts from... We see featherweight to to, to 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 junior featherweight or I mean to featherweight to, to junior lightweight lightweight to super welterweight back down to 135 and now he want to jump up to 147 and fight um Errol Spence. This is what this is what I'm talking about. This is legacy type style, man. Legacy fighting right here, man. And what I like about this is because you know you gotta understand something. He, I, I'm pretty sure he would like to be undisputed lightweight champion, but he can't be undisputed lightweight champion for one because both of the current champions are signed with top rank. Bob Arum is not Bob Arum and top rank boxer are not doing any business with Mikey Garcia right now. That's a fact. Um, Vasilino Machenko is the WBA champ. Ray Beltran, WBO champ. Mikey right there with WBC, IBF. He's not getting a shot at either one of them. You got to understand, boxing is about business and, and the best fights to be made. You got to look at the fact that at 140, you can't fight nobody at 140 because you know Fort Sergey Lipinitz. You can't fight Jose Ramirez because he's also signed with top rank. And all the other 140 fighters, all the best 140 fighters is locked into the, to the World Boxing Super Series. So you gotta jump up to 147. You can't fight. You can't fight Danny Garcia and Show Porter because they locked in for September 8th. Can't fight Keith Thurman because I don't even know if he's ready to have a potential matchup against a qualified for, opponent as yourself, you know. And if you really look at Keith Thurman and Mike Garcia, they got similar styles, so it'd be a great fight, you know. But right about now, I think Mikey could take him, and he's not gonna fight Ter Terence Bud Crawford because you know. But a sour top rank as well. So it's like, who you going to go fight? Only person left is Errol Spence. You got to fight Errol Spence because Errol Spence presents the best, the best opportunity, the best challenge, and the biggest money fight for you out there right now. He's the biggest money fight for you out, right, out there right now. So why not go up against Errol Spence knowing that it's a great fight to be made. It's a great fight that can be made given the fact that you already have a good relationship with Al Heyman and the Premier Boxing Champions. And you got Richard Schaefer on your side holding you down, you know, helping you out with certain things as well. Not saying he helping you out money-wise and all that, but, you know, he's a good guy to have on your side, you know, to solidify that relationship. So, you know, it's best to have all those things in a pot so that way you can get that fight or get that money fight that you need that you definitely deserve. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. I had did a video earlier, but something's going on with my phone. So I'm figuring I might as well just go straight live on YouTube and just, you know, just cut to the chase and just start dropping some videos like this. Like I said, Shoot the Fire, Brooklyn Fights, we connected, we won. Shout out to my partners on that side. Shoot the Five right here. Um, we're doing a lot of things on this side as well. 
got the YouTube channel just popping. Got I got some subscribers right now. Slowly I'm building, I'm grinding. As I'm telling you, man, as I continue to grow, y'all gonna grow with me. You're gonna see the movement. You're gonna see it's not just about boxing, it's about MMA, it's about music, it's about life, photography, videography, it's about anything. You know, so make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the comment, the share, the notification, do all that like everybody else said. You know, like I said, y'all grow with me, I'm gonna grow with y'all. Follow me on Twitter, Xavier Porter227. Follow me on um, Instagram, Brooklyn Fights One, Xavier Porter two two seven, and um, shoot the five one. Um, and another thing, all you media cats out there, I'm coming for y'all, man. Real talk, I'm coming for all y'all. Some of you guys, I salute y'all because y'all y'all been grinding. Y'all know who y'all are. You dudes that I rock with, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all been grinding for a minute. Y'all been doing your thing, and I salute y'all. You know, I wish y'all continued success. I'm, in a sense, following y'all lead and, and growing my channel as well. But there's a lot of media guys out there that, that you know, are corny. I'm going to just put it out there. They straight corny, and the people out there don't really know about that. You know what I mean? When you see these dudes at fights, they're corny. They're soft. SOF, capital T. And like I said, I'm not hating. I'm just saying it how it is. Everybody know me out here. You know what I mean? I'm not new to the boxing game. I'm new to YouTube. So, you know, like I said, continue to support, continue to follow, subscribe, hit the notification button. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm going to keep it thorough with y'all. I'm going I'm to I'm bring the real to y'all, man, straight up. So, holler at me when you, when you see me. Peace.